We know in our minds that there is a great light that is meant to shine from Zion to the entire world, the light of Torah, the light of unity, Yushalayim, Ir Shalom, the light of peace. And this meditation is dedicated to the blessing and the Amidah for the rebuilding of a glorious and peaceful Jerusalem. So with that in mind, I invite you to close your eyes and place your hands over your precious heart. And rebuilding a beautiful exterior first requires that you acknowledge the beauty of your interior. That we're hoping to build a mikdash, a holy temple. we can all gather and meet with each other and with Hashem face to face. But I believe that we first have to feel worthy of such a gathering. loving of who we are, meeting ourselves face to face, so to speak. So that when the opportunity to step into a newly built Jerusalem comes your way, you feel worthy of such a glorious opportunity. So I invite you with your hands on your chest to hold yourself as if you are the most favorite person in the whole wide world. And whether you actually feel that way or not, that's okay, you can pretend. Your mind can't tell the difference between your imagination and reality. So if you imagine it is so, it is so. Love this precious soul. Hold him or her. With adoration, with a smile, with sweetness. with curiosity. Notice the rise and fall of your chest against your hand. The miracle of the breath of life moving in you and through you. animating you. Loving you. And feel the heart under your hands, pumping that breath of life into every fiber of your being. And if you listen closely enough, you can hear that heart of yours whispering, I love you.
you belong to me. You are my precious beloved. And allow all of that love and all of those whisperings of adoration to bubble through your entire body. Relaxing your head and your neck. Softening your arms. Opening your chest even wider. Relaxing the organs of your belly. Easing and opening your hips. And adding a weight to your legs so they can just let go and relax. And with this softening, I invite you to focus your mind's eye on that space under your hands. And imagine yourself inhabiting this heart space. and decorating it with silk and gold and stone with glorious purple and red fabrics with light and scent and music. And imagine yourself inhabiting the space of your heart as if it is a glorious building. And feel the walls of these building around you shining light out well beyond you. And feel yourself opening the doors of this building, of the doors of your heart. and welcoming the entire Jewish people in. And as you see one face after the other, offer them your smile. Offer them an embrace. Let them know that they are loved and wanted and needed. And feel yourself doing this to one Jew after the other. Child and sage teenager and adult, welcome them with your love. Show them around.
bless them as they come. And welcome them no matter how they're dressed. No matter what part of the world they come from. What community they come from. Feel your arms holding one Jew. Feel your lips whispering in their ear. Welcome. Welcome home. You are loved and you are wanted here. And as they pass you to enter into this glorious place that is your heart, see another one coming in and hold them in your embrace. And let them know that they are wanted and they are loved. As you see the multitude of Jews gathered in this beautiful space that is your heart, <clears throat> I invite you to expand the reach of your awareness beyond your heart, beyond your body, still holding all of these souls within you, but also reaching your awareness to encompass the community of souls we have gathered in this meditation. Both those who are with us live and those who are with us in the future now via the recording. And here we are with all of our glorious hearts and all of the beautiful souls we have gathered within them. We can bind ourselves to each other in a circle of love and holiness. So feel the presence of the other community members on one side of you and the other perhaps across from you in a circle. And I want to invite King David who made sure to purchase the land on which our glorious Yushalayim was being built And our precious temple will be built soon in our days. I invite David Melech to join us here in our circle. And his son Shlomo, who built the first temple in Jerusalem. And Aaron Cohen, the first coin of our people, and all of his descendants. We 
those who are resting in the dust of the earth and those who are alive today. I invite all of the Kohanim to surround our circle with their blessing and their protection. And I invite Betzalel, who crafted so beautifully and led the artisans of the first Mikdash, the Mishkan, the tabernacle in the desert. May he guide our imaginations to see and believe in the glory of what Yerushalayim can be. And as we gather here in a circle, we want to invoke the words of Psalm 122, Kufkaf Bet. Shir Hamaalot le David Samachti be Omrimli Beit Adonai Melech Omdot Hayur Aglenu Bishor Aich Yerushalayim Yerushalayim Habnuya Kir Shehubra Layach Dav Shesham Alu Shifatim Shifteya Edut le Israel le hodot le shem Adonai. Kishama yashbu chisot le mishpat, chisot le vet David. Shalu shalom Yerushalayim, yishalyu ohevav, ah, ohavaych. Yi shalom behelech, shalba be'amot. Thank <laughs> In the name, for the sake of the house of God, I ask only goodness for you and for all of Am Yisrael. So I invite you now to imagine yourself standing on the Temple Mount. And to feel the presence of your Shalim in the middle of our circle. It craves so much to be the city of light and the city of peace. but it's struggling under the pressures of war and hatred and darkness and conflict. So we are called to bless this city. I invite you to lift up your hands and have them palms facing out towards this beautiful city. And imagine that the city is your beloved child. And this beloved child is going out to war and you want to bless, you want to bless her with the blessings of Hashem's Hashgacha, of God's providence. with the blessings of protection and of love. So 
So we're going to invoke the blessing of the Kwanim that parents give to their children. And let's say it together for the city of peace. Yivarechecha Adonai v'yishmarecha. Ye'er Adonai panav elecha v'yuchoneka. Yisa Adonai panav elecha v'yasem lecha shalom. Yihi shalom v'helech shalva gaumotnat. This beautiful city of Yerushalayim. May the world know you so soon as the city of peace. It's the city of light. is the city of God. And I invite you now to take those precious hands of yours and bring them back to your Mikdash Me'at, to the small temple that is your body. And I bless you too, that you should be known is a temple of peace, is a temple of light, is a temple of God, that in your presence people should know that they are loved, that they are wanted, they are children of God. For your heart has the capacity to open its doors to all, to love them, to welcome them, to embrace them, and most importantly, to bless them. And if at any point you forget this preciousness that you are. You can always close your eyes and place your hands over your heart and come back to this moment. When you, like Jerusalem, were a source of light for the entire world, for your entire nation, for your entire community and family, and of course, your beautiful self. When you're ready, I invite you to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. and slowly bat your eyes open. And if you would like to do so, I invite you to turn on your camera so we can bask in the glow of what we've created here. I bless you that you should have a beautiful day, that you and all of the Jewish people should only hear good news and that we should all be brought together to celebrate in the streets of Jerusalem and our, in our newly built temple very soon with blessings from South Africa. <laughs>